But this evening is interesting. We've been hearing from the Democratic Labour Party about their interests, their newfound interests in St. George North. They've told you, and every night they're doing it, in their short crawls and whatever, and their sport meetings, that they've brought a candidate from among you to represent you. They've spoken about Tony Moore in disparaging tones. They have questioned her integrity as it relates to the trade union. I don't have to defend her record. I think her record speaks for itself. But I believe that if a young man from this area, from among you, is seeking to represent you, he must be perfectly honest and truthful with you. And so, I should not be receiving any information about a Mr. Floyd Reefer who is out here every day canvassing. I should not be receiving information that he is currently in discussion with the Cricket West Indies to tour New Zealand. The team is supposed to be departing on the 27th of, supposed to be departing shortly towards the end of this month to New Zealand. We're going to quarantine for two weeks and to start the first game on the 27th of November. Now, how could it be possible for Mr. Reefer to seek to represent you, the good people of St. George, and not tell you that while he is doing this and seeking to get your vote and how much he cares for you, he is actively trying to secure a contract to travel with Cricket West Indies to tour New Zealand. Talk about integrity. Talk about honesty. Talk about commitment. That is as much as I will say on this right now. But the next person who I am going to introduce to you knows what it is to be committed to people. Knows what it is to be dedicated to you. And he has shown it to you over the last 26 years in terms of of his commitment to you and in terms of the work he has done for you. Certainly in this area, the Groves Road, the sidewalk projects which he started and which the wicked DLP stopped for 10 years. And of course, the Link Bridge from Roach Village to Bel Air. This is the sort of person that you need to represent you. And this is what Glenn Clark has done for you. They've had a lot to say about him. But one thing you can say for Glenn Clark, he has stayed the, the course with you through thick and thin. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to invite Comrade Glenn Clark to the platform this evening to address you. As I give you Glenn Clark. 